Hey guys, welcome back. It's Dirty Max LML. Well, as you guys know, if you guys have a Chevy 3500 HD, the rear end can be pretty brutal, pretty uncomfortable. And uh, the reason why is because the rear overload spring. So the overload spring comes up right here and this bumper taps on that rear overload spring. And that's why the rear end on the Chevy 3500 is so darn uncomfortable. So what I did, um, this only takes about 30 minutes, took off this bolt right here, take off these U-bolts, take all of this top end off and you're able to take off the rear overload spring that comes up right here. Super simple, 30 minutes per side, doesn't cost you a dime. And uh, I will tell you guys the ride comfort is so much better without that rear overload spring. Now if you're carrying heavy loads, obviously you're going to need to keep that or you're going to need to do something different like uh, put a airbag in and that's what I plan on doing. Um, I also want to take it a step further. Um, these leaf springs that come on the 3500 are a 3400 pound capacity leaf spring. Now the 2500 Chevy has a 2700 pound leaf spring and that's why the 2500 rides smoother in the rear end than the Chevy 3500. So we're gonna change out these rear leaf springs. Uh, basically we're gonna convert the back end to mimic a Chevy 2500 and then we're gonna add 5,000 pound Firestone airbags on the rear with a compressor and uh, that is going to give me the ride quality that I'm looking for. Now this, uh, this entire build has been for comfort. Um, obviously, you know, you want a lifted truck but uh, sometimes when you lift the truck, a lot of things can get weird. You know, the ride quality sometimes is not as good as it was when it was stock. So we've, so I've gone to great lengths to get the best ride quality. And that comes down to the 18 inch rims, the 35 inch tires, um, the six and a half inch lift that we have with the torsion keys kind of torqued down to about a four inch lift now um, there's a three inch block in the rear so everything that we've done has been to maximize comfort as you can see there's plenty of room right here on the bump stop that's your downward travel so um, there are there's a lot of different components that you need to look at to be able to get a comfortable ride and um, you know there's a lot of guys out there with the Instagram trucks, and I'm sure some of them do ride okay, but I guarantee you the majority of them don't ride that well. And um, if I had to change anything on this truck, it would most likely be the lift kit. I went with a BDS, and I would still go with the BDS. It's just I would have gone with the coilover BDS, which was really expensive at the time. The prices have come down a little bit but you get what you pay for. That's probably the only thing that I would change on this truck. But um, if you guys want your rear end to run a lot more comfortable and make the truck way more comfortable for your passengers and you driving every single day, I definitely recommend getting rid of the overload spring in the rear. It doesn't cost you anything, 30 minutes per side, super simple. So hopefully I've helped one of you guys out there with your Chevy 3500. Um, take off those rear leaf springs. It's going to ride a lot more comfortable. Um, also, go check out Blue Collar Builds. He also did a video about this with a rear leaf spring. Um, I believe he's got a quad that he's uh, revamping right now and making it look awesome. Uh, go check out his uh, channel and subscribe. But I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Please give it a thumbs up and a like.